Okay, let's talk about how the wrists work in the golf swing, making sure we have the proper matchups. I added some lead wrist flexion, but I had to make an adjustment. I hope you enjoy. talk about matchups all right so like I said I weakened my target side grip because I wanted to add a little bit more lead wrist flexion I've talked about this before if you go back to my videos what that lead wrist flexion does it allows me to square my club face up for a little bit longer coming through the strike zone okay it also allows me to take some of the side spin off my ball because the club face is square coming through the target line all right so my miss that was to the left, my miss is almost totally, totally gone now. So I'm having more flight control, trajectory control, distance control. But it has to be matchups. If I would have tried to do lead wrist flexion with my, with my two knuckle grip, I'd be hitting hooks right now. So I had to match it up to a proper grip that allows me to play with more lead wrist flexion. So make sure whenever you make adjustments in your golf swing, the anatomically you making matchups that's going to work it's huge a lot of times we'll make an adjustment and it'll be the right adjustment but we haven't made the rest of the adjustments to go with it grip posture release point all that makes a difference okay so take your time get professional instruction get somebody to look at it and you'll be on your way to playing better golf okay so i made a slight adjustment in my swing i went to a weaker grip with the target side hand which allows me to add some lead wrist flexion throughout the swing which is giving me a more square club face throughout the strike zone but let me tell you it's about matchups you can't do this you can't add lead wrist flexion in your swing with a strong grip it's going to make you hook the ball so make sure whatever you're doing you're doing matchups so if you want to add lead wrist flexion which is going to help you square the club face, make sure you weaken the target side grip. The ball jumps off the club face, you get a little bit of higher trajectory and you get more control with your ball on spin numbers. Keep grinding.